Welcome to the zone. Out of the very long list of places, items, and characters that make the Stalker series so iconic, artifacts are probably the most recognizable. These mysterious pieces of matter that have been warped and changed by new spheric energy are what attract so many Stalkers to the zone. Regardless of if it's to find an artifact that will change the very nature of how humanity understands science, or if it's simply to get rich, these objects are coveted across the world. In today's episode, we'll dive into what an artifact is, what they do, and how stalkers use them across the zone. If you enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more stalker-related content. And if you haven't already, check out my second channel in the description below, where all of my urbex and outdoor videos are located. Without further ado, let's dive in. After the second disaster, and the rush to investigate the new, strange world that existed within the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, one of the first changes noticed by stalkers were the new anomalies that were scattered across the landscape. These anomalies, although deadly to any who touched them, were the subject of much scientific inquiry. Along with studying the world-bending properties that these anomalies exhibited, the discovery of artifacts caused a new gold rush into the zone. Seemingly useless pieces of metal and trash were now radiating new forms of radiation never seen before, displaying healing properties, or simply defying the known laws of physics. These objects were almost observed as being generated by the new anomalies, and particular artifacts could only be found near specific anomalies, leading stalkers to begin cataloging what type of artifact could be found and where. Devices known as detectors were developed to detect the radiation that these artifacts gave off. Soon, as rumors and stories of fortunes being made in the zone began to spread to the outside world, stalkers raced to find detectors and scientists doubled their efforts on creating more advanced versions of these detectors. Government-funded scientists began to pay large sums of money for artifacts to research. Black market sales encouraged artifacts to be smuggled out of the zone, and foreign governments soon sent operatives into the exclusion zone. The gold rush was on. As more artifacts were studied, properties were catalogued. During the initial experiments, scientists discovered that artifacts exhibit a strange and powerful form of radiation, one that penetrates even the most potent protective gear. Placing an artifact too closely to a stalker's body resulted in radiation absorption, as well as other possible unforeseen side effects, such as increased sensitivity to fire or electricity. Other artifacts seem to do the opposite, allowing stalkers to be exposed to significant heat while remaining unharmed by the flames. What is even more interesting entirely is that stalkers and scientists began to see a pattern and a relationship between artifacts, anomalies, and the emissions that seem to come from the very heart of the zone. Anomalies that had been scanned only hours before and were found to be empty seemed to generate artifacts after an emission. The relationship between artifacts, anomalies, and emissions is still unknown, but it seems that there are always these three elements in play for the creation of an artifact. Physical matter in the form of metal or some other element, an anomaly, and then finally the mechanism by which the artifact is formed. In the overwhelming majority of cases, the mechanism seems to be an emission to cause an artifact to form, although there have been cases where the decay of an anomaly itself has been the catalyst for the creation of an artifact. This can be seen during the events of Shadow of Chernobyl, where artifacts are seen to spawn only once. After the destruction of the sea consciousness by Strelik, and the subsequent emissions that are now let out on a regular basis, artifacts are seen to regenerate after each emission. Considering that some relationship exists between emissions, artifacts, and anomalies, it seems very likely that the anomalies scattered throughout the zone are somehow able to respond to the increased new spheric energy that is released through the storm. Objects close to the anomalies are then transformed into artifacts when this energy is absorbed by the anomalies. It is unknown how this process takes place or why some anomalies do not generate an artifact after an emission, while others will. More research is currently being conducted by scientists inside of the zone to uncover this secret of nature. The properties that artifacts exhibit are not always stable. 
as the artifacts recovered during the events of Clear Sky, Shadow of Chernobyl, and Call of Pripyat all act in different ways. Listing out every artifact and its properties has always been a difficult task, but in this section we will lay out all of the canon artifacts and their properties since the events of Call of Pripyat. The Eye The Eye is an artifact that resembles a human eye, said to bring good luck by more experienced stalkers in the zone. While it generates radiation which can cause damage to the user, it also boosts their metabolism decreasing the amount of bleeding caused by wounds by up to 40%. It can be found in burner anomalies in the Red Forest, Army Warehouses, and in Yantar. These artifacts are often sold as they command such a high price in the zone. The Crystal Created by heavy metals falling into a burner anomaly, the crystal artifact absorbs thermal energy from its surrounding area. This trait makes it widely sought after, by stalkers wanting to venture into burner fields or other areas where extreme heat might be present. While it removes heat from the surrounding area, it does give off its own trace amounts of radiation. Stalkers have been known to utilize multiple crystal artifacts to reduce the damage they take from fire-based anomalies. This artifact can be found in burner fields throughout the zone. The Flame this exceptionally rare artifact originates in regions with significant thermal activity. The flame generates potent infrared emissions that accelerate metabolic functions, facilitating rapid wound healing right before the eyes of its possessor. Wounds will heal themselves completely over time, allowing a stalker to recover from their adventures without the need for medical care. While this artifact possesses amazing healing properties, it does emit moderate amounts of radiation. These artifacts can be found in thermal anomalies across the zone, but they are quite rare. Fireball While the fireball is found in thermal anomalies such as burners, it curiously is cool to the touch. The fireball has a unique property that stabilizes its temperature at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and furthermore extends this temperature to a small radius surrounding the artifact. This ability allows stalkers to utilize the artifact to venture into very hot places such as burner anomaly fields. Similar to the crystal, using multiple fireballs mitigates almost all damage from excessive heat, while at the same time increasing the amount of rads accumulated. Mama's Beads While the main mechanisms that cause this artifact to work remain a mystery to scientists studying the zone, Extensive testing has revealed that the mama's beads emit pulses that alter the user's blood. This alteration created in the user's blood allows for faster and more effective clotting, causing wounds to heal much faster than normal. While the artifact itself emits radiation, it is such a trace amount that many stalkers are willing to expose themselves for it in return for the healing properties that it possesses. Mama's beads can be found throughout the zone in burners as well as famously in the boiler anomaly in Zatan. The Battery Like most artifacts in the zone, the formation of a battery artifact remains a mystery. What is known about the battery is that it allows the user to prolong the amount of time that they can exert themselves while carrying out physical tasks. While this increased stamina and endurance is marginal at best, many stalkers new to the zone will seek these artifacts out as items to sell. The artifacts are mainly found inside of electrofields and generate trace amounts of radiation. The Shell The shell is similar to the battery in that it is capable of boosting the user's stamina through a mysterious effect that it creates on the user's nervous system. This effect allows stalkers to run further and faster without putting excessive strain on their CNS. Compared to the battery, it is almost twice as effective at maintaining a stalker's endurance levels. It can be found in electro anomalies across the zone, and it gives off moderate amounts of radiation. The Sparkler The Sparkler artifact occurs commonly throughout the zone, and emanates a small field that somehow smooths fluctuations in electrical fields. While this artifact emits trace amounts of radiation, it can be helpful to stalkers who wish to go through fields of electro anomalies unharmed. The Snowflake 
similar to the other artifacts listed above, which manipulate a stalker's body and cause it to be able to exert itself better. The snowflake generates a field that increases the muscular density of the user, allowing them to run faster, farther, and carry more weight. While it is unknown how this artifact forms exactly, some have noted the similarity between the appearance of the snowflake and the kolobok, and have hypothesized that the snowflake is created by exposing a kolobok to an electrical field. These artifacts are found in electrical anomalies throughout the zone. The Flash Flash artifacts have an interesting property, which makes them able to act electrostatically, similar to a battery that's used in a flashlight. The flash is capable of absorbing electrical current, which can protect its user from shocks upwards of 5,000 volts. The flash will store this charge and discharge it later, possibly giving it its namesake. While this artifact will protect the user from electrical shocks, it does give off radiation. Like the artifacts that protect stalkers from excessive thermal radiation, stalkers have been known to utilize multiple flash artifacts to protect themselves from extreme electric discharges. These artifacts can be found in electrical fields and famously in the Iron Forest in Zaden. Moonlight A very rare artifact, the moonlight is similar to the flash in that it is electrostatic but it is capable of being fine-tuned by stalkers to combat psi waves. By changing the frequency at which the artifact resonates to being the exact opposite of an emission, moonlight artifacts can reduce the amount of psi waves a stalker will be exposed to. This artifact is perfect for combating creatures like controllers who utilize psi waves to prey upon their victims. Combining the artifacts has been shown to produce an effect equal or greater than most psi-blocking medications. While it does emanate a moderate amount of radiation, its benefits far outweigh the drawbacks when encountering an environment with psi waves. The Jellyfish The jellyfish is a very common artifact found throughout the zone, and is usually one of the first artifacts that a new stalker will encounter on their travels. It is so common that it is even used outside of the zone in black market circles to treat acute radiation poisoning in very rare circumstances, where one might actually have the connections to acquire one. The jellyfish possesses an interesting property that allows it to attract radioactive particles that contaminate the environment, making them perfect for using to counteract the negative radiation effects given off by other artifacts. They can be found near gravitational anomalies like the Springboard, Vortex, or Whirligig. The Stone Flower Made up of stone similar to granite in appearance and structure, the stone flower is created by stone being exposed to extreme gravitational force, which results in the formation of crystals being formed. While the exact means of creation are not well understood, the properties that the stone flower has have been extensively studied. The stone flower is able to seemingly disrupt or block psi waves, giving the user moderate protection against them. They can be found in gravitational anomalies and give off trace amounts of radiation. Night Star The Night Star artifact has an interesting property, which allows it to use some kind of field or particle to create a localized field around the artifact that reduces the effect of gravity. This field or particle has not yet been identified. This artifact has been used by stalkers to make themselves weigh less in order to carry more equipment and loot on their person. While the artifact gives off moderate amounts of radiation, its advantages far outweigh its drawbacks. It can be found in gravitational anomaly fields. The Gravi Similar to the Night Star, the Gravi exhibits many of the same anti-gravitational characteristics, only in a much stronger way. Again, the way the artifact is able to defy the force of gravity is unknown, but the metallic substances it's made out of possibly produce anti-gravitons or some other theoretical particle when exposed to the gravitational anomalies of the zone. It gives off moderate amounts of radiation, almost double that of the night star, but it is still widely used across the zone. The Goldfish Another artifact that produces an anti-gravitational field the goldfish is by far the strongest of these types of artifacts. It is able to render almost any object in the localized anti-gravity field almost weightless, enabling stalkers to use the artifact to carry much more equipment than they would otherwise be able to normally. 
This artifact only seems to be created when a large number of gravitational anomalies interact with one another, making it much more rare and radioactive than the previous artifacts in this family. Wrenched The wrenched is an oddly shaped artifact that is only found in areas of gravitational anomalies. Similar to the jellyfish, this artifact is able to absorb radiation from the surrounding environment, as well as radiation that is already inside the human body. This makes it an ideal artifact for stalkers to use, as it is much stronger than the jellyfish. While it is much more rare, they can be found in gravitational anomalies across the zone. The Stone Blood Comprised of an amalgamation of dead plants, dirt, and animal fossils, the stone blood is found in chemical anomaly fields like the gas cloud. It is unknown how this anomaly is formed, but tests have shown that it somehow gives its user enhanced protection from chemical-based threats. The artifact is slightly radioactive, but many stalkers find that the protection from the chemical-based anomalies far outweighs drawbacks. The Meat Chunk Formed from decaying and mutated animal tissue, the meat chunk performs a similar function to the stone blood, but in a much more effective way. The meat chunk utilizes an unknown process to transform hazardous and acidic chemicals in an area into a harmless, albeit disgusting, pH-neutral mucus-like fluid. While the artifact generates more radiation than the stone blood, it is also twice as effective at protecting the user from harmful chemicals. They can be found across the zone, but mainly in the swamp. The Bubble a bubble artifact is formed from organic material being reorganized into hollow formations, giving it the appearance of a bubble-like structure. The means by which this artifact is formed is unknown, but testing has discovered that it emits a gaseous cloud around its vicinity, which neutralizes radioactive particles. This allows users to significantly decrease the amount of radiation that their body absorbs when traveling through the zone. The artifact can be found in the department store in Pripyat, as well as sometimes in the anomalous grove in Yanov. The Soul, Kolobok, and Firefly This family of artifacts is extremely mysterious to scientists operating in the zone. For unknown reasons, these artifacts are able to heal almost any wound that a user receives, from cuts and gunshots to regenerating extremely damaged organ tissue that would otherwise be simply impossible. Each of these artifacts gives this regenerative ability at different rates, the soul being the weakest, the kolobok in the middle, and the rare firefly being the strongest. They can be found in chemical anomaly fields across the zone, and they are highly sought after items by those inside and outside. Some scientists have hypothesized after much testing that the artifacts somehow alter the genetic code of stalkers who have been exposed to these artifacts. How their genetic code has been altered and why it was changed has not been explained to the world at large, leaving most to dismiss this as baseless rumor. The Compass A unique artifact that is only found once every few years, the Compass is one of the most mysterious artifacts that exist within the zone, providing thermal, chemical, electrical, and psi resistance, as well as enhanced stamina recovery to the user. This artifact also can act as a means of navigating through some of the most hazardous anomaly fields in the zone. It is said that the compass chooses to allow you to find it, rather than being found by a stalker. The compass has been used famously in the past to help stalkers escape from deadly space anomalies, which teleport their victims into a pocket dimension that has no exit. Anomalous Plant the anomalous plant is an artifact that was recovered from the anomalous grove during the events of Call of Pripyat. The plant was once some type of flower, but it has since been altered by the zone in a mysterious and unique way. It is unknown what kind of circumstances led to its creation or exactly what type of artifact that it is, but it possesses no known qualities like other artifacts and is not radioactive. It appears to be some kind of physically changed flower which simply existed in the middle of a large anomaly field. Heart of the Oasis A unique artifact found at the very center of the Oasis, a special location that is renowned for its lack of radiation. The heart has the qualities of many other artifacts, increased stamina and healing as well as a unique property that allows it to sustain the user with calories, even if the user eats nothing. It is unknown how this process works exactly, 
while the oasis itself contained no radiation and was seemingly a piece of paradise inside the hell that is the zone, the heart itself is extremely radioactive. The artifact itself is so rare that, after it was recovered, many thought the artifact was a fake. Altered Wheel Another artifact that seems to possess no unique qualities other than simply glowing, the Altered Wheel was recovered from the Dredge Station in Zaten. It is otherwise a simple wheel that glows and has been altered by the unique properties of the zone. The surrounding area and metallic objects themselves seem to be pretty much unaffected, but mysteriously, the artifact was changed. The wheel did give off extreme amounts of radiation, making it something different from the anomalous plant discovered in the grove. Altered Insulator Described as an unstable artifact, the Altered Insulator was once a simple insulator, but is now a unique artifact of unknown origin. After stalkers reported experiencing intermittent psi emissions inside of Yanov, stalkers ventured into the underground tunnels to find the source. The insulator was discovered to be the probable cause, and was curiously protected by a controller. It is unknown what the relationship between the surrounding area and the creation of the insulator is, but it would appear that psi creatures are drawn to its psi emissions. The insulator, like the wheel, is extremely radioactive. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more. Be sure to check out the link in the description for your very own artifact models that people have been asking me about. And until next time, I'll see you in the zone.